In this video, we are showing you a solution for solving mission 2 called Shark from this year's first LEGO League Challenge Submerged robot game. This mission represents the release of a shark from a cave into its habitat after being captured for tagging. For this mission, 20 points are awarded if the shark is no longer touching the mission model representing the cave. Another 10 points can be scored if the shark is delivered to its habitat, which is the oval target circle just south of the forward part of the shipwreck near the center of the map. Note that there is no equipment constraint for this mission. This means you could build a jig to deliver and transport the shark to the target circle. But unlike for the creature in Mission 9, Unexpected Encounter, the rules state that the shark must touch the mat at the end of the match in order to earn points for this mission. We are using the Spike Prime Advanced Driving Base built from the instructions provided in the Spike Prime software. Let's dive in and see how we accomplished this mission. For our solution we use the Spike Prime lift arm and this time modified with a mid-sized tire mounted underneath at the end of the arm. This attachment also works to solve two other missions, Mission 3 Coral Reef and Mission 5 Anglerfish. The build instructions for the lift arm itself can also be found in the Spike Prime software. For the second part of the mission, delivering the shark to its target circle, we use a simple jig built from a picture frame with an upright L-beam on the side. Please note that for our solution we are ignoring any krill, coral, or the water sample on the mat that might be in the way of the robot to focus solely on solving this mission. The robot uses the tire on the lift arm to push down the yellow activator on the mission model to release the shark into the home area where the drivers of the team are allowed to touch it with their hands. In the launch area, we position the jig with the shark inside on the left side of the robot's lift arm, with the upright beam on the jig reaching into the opening of the lift arm. This way, the robot can guide the jig with the shark inside across the mat to the oval target circle. When the shark is at least partially in the target circle, the robot simply lifts up the arm and pulls backwards, leaving the jig and shark behind. The shark sits upside down in the jig with its fin touching the mat, thus fulfilling the scoring requirement that it must be touching the mat. The rule does not require the shark to be right side up or say that the belly has to be touching the mat. Any part of the shark counts. For this mission you earn 20 points if the shark is no longer touching the base part of the mission model, and another 10 points if the shark is at least partially within the target circle by the forward shipwreck and touching the mat at the end of the match, for a total of 30 possible points. To avoid any scoring questions that might arise, try to make sure that the part of the shark touching the mat is within the target circle.